Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best ways to digitize your DVD collections by converting them from ISO files to MP4 or other video supporting formats using an app called WinX DVD Ripper for Mac here. It should be noted that this app supports both Mac and Windows computers. So as you can see, there are a few options at the top here. So the first option is a DVD disc. This option allows you to convert your DVD directly from a DVD drive into your favorite video formats, for example, like MP4, MOV, and so on. But again, this option, you need to have a DVD drive plugged into your Mac computer so that you can use this app to convert the DVD. The second option is a DVD folder. If you already copy a DVD content into a folder and you want to convert that video content into MP4, then you select this option. But the feature that I'm going to show you today is converting DVD ISO format or image into MP4. So we just click here. So if you already have a DVD ISO file, you can just convert those files into your favorite video format. So in my case, I have the ISO file stored on my desktop. So I just click browse. I just select the movie here, click open. And I just leave this one here to tick, auto detect, leave it like that, click OK. And now it allows you to choose your video format that you want to convert your DVD ISO to. So they have lots of options for you to choose from. They have general profiles where you can convert to MP4 or for iPhone, iPad, Android, or just make a DVD copy or MOV, M4V videos, and so on. You can even back up your DVD as well. You can back up the main title content or full title content or back up full title into to MKV video and there are different mobile video profile that you can choose if you want to convert to various device like Apple device or Android pad or Microsoft device Sony device and other devices you can even convert it to uh, various video platforms like YouTube Facebook Vimeo and general web video as well but the one I want to show you is mp4 so i just click on general profiles here and select mp4 click done and if you want to make some changes first before you convert you can also do so as well you can even add subtitle to it by clicking here click load and add the subtitle that you have to it you can even edit like cut some piece of the video that you don't want you can do that as well by clicking on edit it and cut the piece that you don't want If you have more than one title, you can even merge them together by turn this on. But I only have one title, so I don't have to merge it. If you want to change the resolution, you just click here and you can see the frame rate. It's a keep original. You can change it to the frame rate you want, the resolution as well. You can modify it. Let's say you want to choose 920 by 1080. Just click there, click apply, click OK. And on this side, you can see they have hardware encoder. So the hardware encoder will allow you to convert faster using Intel processor. So like my iMac have Intel chip. If you're using the current MacBook, you may have M1 chip or M2 chip. So it will convert faster. You can even turn on use high quality engine or safe mode as well. But I just leave it like that. And the CPU core use, because my iMac has four CPU core, so it automatically select four. If you're using the current MacBook Pro, they have like up to eight or 16 core. You can select that as well. It's gonna be much faster to convert. For the destination folder, you can change the destination where you want the video to be saved or stored to so by clicking browse here so the default destination is right here in the movie folder but I changed that to desktop because it's more convenient to get access to it so once everything is ready you can click on run here to start and usually the process would take about five to ten minutes depending on your computer as well if you're using current computer MacBook for example it may convert faster but my iMac is 2017 iMac so it's kind of slower so we'll see how much time it will convert just click run it will start the process. We have to wait for it. So as you can see here, the conversion is now done. So we'll check the video to find out what it looks like. But for copyrighted reason, I have to mute the sound. So 
So as you can see the quality of the video it looks great you can even change to high resolution like 4k resolution if you want to so if you're interested in this app i have included the link in the description below you can check them out so when you click on the link it will lead you to this website winx dvd ripper for mac if you're using windows click on go to windows here it will allow you to download the windows version but because i'm using mac i have to click for mac version here you can try the free version first to see what it has to offer and if you find it useful for your everyday use you can come back here to purchase the full license version by clicking here so currently these are the offers you can buy the premium license which is one year subscription you can use up to three max the price is $34.95 and they even give you this app called WinX video converter license for three months to use as well as a gift you can even buy the ultimate license which is a lifetime version which costs $59.95 but that one can only use for one one Mac. Okay, that's it guys. This is WinX DVD Ripper for Mac. One of the best tools to convert or digitize your DVD into MP4 format. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.